Welcome back to Basin Motorsports. So today I'm going to start working on putting Wide Fox or making Wide Fox into my version of an Ultimate Street Car. Now I had mentioned previously on the 2020 Vision video that I want to transition the Wide Fox from a car that can go coffee and looks good as a wide body. I really want to make it functional and I want to make it a competitor uh, in SCCA. I want to make it a competitor in Good Guys and potentially in the Optima Ultimate Streetcar Series. So in order to do that, this thing has got to get an, a brake upgrade. If you remember back, I put a 97 Mustang GT brakes on, which is a single piston front caliper and is a single piston rear caliper. Now again, it's only using like 11 inch or 12 inch brakes on the front, and I think the rears are 10, but I'll measure that and make sure of it. But the point is, the brakes are okay, They'll stop, but these things are not something competitive, especially with street pads. So I thought initially on the back of a Mustang, I put in 8.8 .8, and most people just say, hey, I want to swap over brakes to a disc brake setup. Basically, you can swap everything over with Ford parts. I've shown you that on the 8.8. .8. When I was talking to Willwood, uh, they had asked for some clarification on which axle housing you actually had. Now, honestly, I've never seen anybody even talk about this. So I thought today, while I'm going to measure it for Willwood to be able to answer some of their uh, tech department, answering back what parts I need in that, uh, I thought it'd be a great conversation piece to show you there is actually a difference. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is go ahead and get Wide Fox up on some jack stands. I'm going to put a set under the subframe connectors to be able to hold the body. I'm going to then put a set under the axle. And there's a different reason for that. I'm going to replace lower control arms. But this will at least get the tires up off the ground and then allow me to take off the tire to be able to measure what I need. All right, now let me mention this just because I like safety. If you have any chance your car is going to roll before you take off your tires or even before you put the first jack stand under it with the jack. Make sure you block your front wheels. If it's gonna roll when you lift up the rear axle because usually the transmission or the parking brake is what keeps it from rolling back and forth, by taking that up off the ground, you now have a mobile, basically a dolly, a two wheel dolly. So block your front wheels if your car is gonna roll at all or if you have any chance. Okay, so with the wheel off, now I can go and start taking everything apart. Now, what I'm trying to do is be able to show you where you want to get to. So behind your axle, you want to get to this backing plate. Now, this is where your factory brakes attach to. And if you go to a bigger brake kit, this uh, will also attach to the same spot. Now, Willwood's got this great website that shows you all the different actual combinations. And it shows you exactly what they want to know. The back of their plate. So you've got the red here which is going to be your axle flange housing. Now you've got your axle that comes through, which is this. So showing you real world, you've got your axle here, and then you've got your axle flange, this. So what they want to know is these bolt spacings and this OD here. All right, so as we scroll down, what you'll find in the very right side under the Ford is that you're going to have three different 8.8 .8 housings. Now if you look at the numbers at the top, you're going to find that the bolt spacing between all of those is going to be 3.14, so I'm not worried about that. Top to bottom, 1.68, same. Uh, and the spacing on the bottom is 3.076. Now again, this is all in inches. The thing I'm looking for, the difference, is this tubing OD diameter. So the Ford Special is going to be 3.15. A standard 8.8 .8 is going to be 2.84. And then you've got an 8.8 .8 from 94 to 04 with a 2.84 OD. The place you want to measure this is on the inside of your bracket. So this is your OD of your housing tube. You don't have to take your calipers off and everything else, but to really demonstrate it and get some good lighting in there, I took it off just for you guys. So you're welcome for that. The caliper itself is going to go on the outside. Now, I have two different sets. I have one that's digital that goes millimeter to inches, and I have another, <clears throat> another set that is analog, not digital, 
and it is millimeters only. So the battery in my electric is done, is dead, so I'm gonna measure in millimeters, which is this, and just convert it over to inches. So here's the housing itself, measured, and I use my stop basically to keep the measurement. Pull this off, and what you find is that it's roughly about 72 millimeters. Now 72 millimeters is my 2.84 inch diameter OD. So looking at the options on the Wheelwood site, you've got the 8.8 Ford Special, which is the 3.15. Nix that, because that is not it. You have two other options at 2.84. You've got a standard 8.8, and you've got an 8.8 Ford 94 to 04. So if this is 79 to 93, and this is 94 to 04, basically these should be the same. So if I click on one, it loads up. There are a ton of options of big brake kits to look at if you're looking on the Wheelwood site. Now other manufacturers are going to be the same. You've got plenty of different options. You've got 14 inch rotors, 12.88, 12.19, 12.19, and 11 inch rotor diameter. So you've got some different options between your kits there looking on the Wheelwood site and I'm sure other manufacturers are going to be the same. Now let's just say I select a 94 to 04. Let's see what it brings up. It brings up a combination parking brake. Now this is interesting because you've only got a 10158 together with a 12.80 inch rotor uh, thickness and the flange is 8.94 to 04 with an offset of 3.25. Now the wrinkle between this, between the housings of the 7090-93 or the 94 to 04 is going to be this offset. So now in the 7993 8.8 you've got an offset of 2.5. On the other one is a 3.25. So now we need to measure that to see which one we're really going to have. Now looking at our initial diagram, the axle offset measurement is going to be the edge of the flange to the edge of where the wheel is going to mount. So this is either going to be 3.25 or a 2.5. Alright, now looking at my axle, you can kind of see the backing plate touches the axle and going out to the flange surface. Dead on three and one quarter. So hopefully that answers a, a little bit of questions on what it's going to take to put on a big brake kit to a Ford 8.0 inch housing. Now I had no idea there were two different ODs like that. Um, and so there you go. I don't know what the 3.15 or the other one, the larger one comes on. That could be a truck or maybe a, a Capri or some of these bigger Mercuries in that. Some of the bigger, bigger vehicles. But if you know, hey, drop it down in the comments. I'd like to learn that. But otherwise, now you guys know how to source, uh, if you're looking for a big brick kit, some of the things you need to look for between the flanges itself, the OD of the tubing, and then the axle offset from the flange out to where the wheel mounts. So hopefully that answers that question. Now again, I used the Wheelwood site because they were responding back to me when I was asking some questions. Um, there are other kits out there, obviously, uh, Stop Tech, Power Stop. I uh, recently learned about Reaper brakes, that they're coming out with some new stuff, so I'm checking out their stuff. I have no ties to Willwood, so there's some free publicity for their stuff. Really cool site, informative, but if you have any questions, you can you can uh, look all that stuff up. But that's it. Got to put all the stuff back together on the Wide Fox, get it back driving, and uh, we'll see you next time. But thanks for watching. Hopefully this was informative, and uh, subscribe or like or both. Your choice. We'll see you next time. Thank you.